Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. He is good. He is worthy to be praised. Give him praise. Give him praise. I'm not going to get on the camera. Not right now, anyway. But I'm about to go outside anyway, so. Okay, I'm going to wait till some of you guys get up on here. Praise God, praise God. It's kind of chilly out here today. Yeah, praise God, praise God. You know, I just wanted to get up on here this morning and remind everyone. First of all, good morning. Where's my manners? Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are blessed once again to be in the land of the living. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm doing great, past, um, Pastor Linda Tompkins. Thank you so much. And I pray that you all are blessed as well. Let me tell y'all something. I heard Shelby Underwood, and I don't really look at secular TV, but I thought, I think it was on a reel on Facebook, you know, because I don't really look at a lot of TV. I just don't have time. Not to mention, <laughs> you don't want my thoughts on that this morning. You're going to be like, she's going deep in this morning, because seriously, programming is real okay so anywho let's stick to the subject Cheryl Underwood said something now she was talking pertaining to someone else but I thought it was very uncanny that she said you know we have to be mindful of what we say mindful of what we do and I was like you mean to tell me that this woman does not even I don't think she's saved and I don't know if she's a believer and of course I'm not judging any of that content I'm just saying about what she said she said we have to be mindful of what we say especially in this hour she said because you could hurt people people of God and people that don't know if they serve who they serve I'm just I'm talking to everybody the whole world be mindful be mindful when you get up in the morning be thankful I had a friend that text another friend she say you know she said on her facebook she said my neighbor didn't wake up this morning and the paramedics were actually coming and get his body she said we made it that just reiterated of what i'm saying today you don't know when god's gonna call you home now i now truth be told as a believer and i know it's gonna sound crazy but i've had several instances where even my mother some people do know if you close to god oh you gonna know now i don't know if you're supposed to tell everybody but i do know she called me and told me she was getting ready to die and a week later she was dead so i i, I do believe that it depends on your relationship with God. But however, for the most part, most people don't know when they're going to check out. And it's not to be afraid of death because we've been taught to fear what is actually inevitable. That that doesn't make sense to me. If anything, this life should be a preparation. You know, I heard the acronyms of Bible saying um, basic instructions before leaving earth. I truly believe that's real. So I got on here this morning not to ramble. But so that my spirit can touch your spirit in understanding how real this is. Life is real, people. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of what you do. Be mindful of the blessings that God give you. No, you don't have this and you don't have that. And I'm going to be honest with you. This world is passing very fast. I don't think people understand where we at. I know you don't. So you better open your eyes. Jesus is getting ready to return. No, no one knows the date, the time, the hour, but the Father, not even Jesus. However... Where will you spend eternity? That's real. I don't understand how people can think death is some kind of game. Like, oh, guess as long as I have the bag today, long as I got this today, long as I got that today. Yeah, you got it today, but what you going to have tomorrow? Oh, come on, somebody feel my heart, feel my spirit, feel my soul. We got to get back to evangelizing. We got to let people know, do you want to be saved? You know, when the man was by the pool, Jesus said, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be whole? Some people don't want to be. And and, and I, I, I'm coming hard this morning. I'm coming raw and uncut. Some people don't want God. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to tell the truth this morning. Some people don't want God. Oh, I'm going all the way in. Some people in your family don't want God. Some people going to hell, whether you like it or not. Get mad if you want to. That's reality. That's truth. Now, I remember um in the Bible, it says, Pharaoh, I made you to destroy you. Cain, he says, uh, Esau, I've hated and Jacob, I've loved. 
this is real. There are people that love God and there are people that serve Satan. In the story. I don't know what kind of imaginary world that most people are living in. But uh, you better snap out of it. You better snap out of it fast, God says. He say, choose this day who you're going to serve. God or mammon because you can't serve both. You can't serve God and the devil. And truth be told, people have been trying to do that since I can remember. You know, I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of that. And you're going to get this and you're going to get that. That's what's going to happen. Point blank in the story. So with that being said, be mindful of how you treat each other. And I put a scripture, James 1.19. I've been meditating on that for years. And, and God still have me meditating on it. Because this is for everybody. Be quick to hear those that have an ear. Hear what the Spirit is saying this morning. Hallelujah. And by what I mean by that is God is using me to speak. He says, be quick to hear. Slow to speak. Some of y'all just say some ugly things. You be, and I'm gonna tell you what the enemy is. Uh, I'm on one this month. I'm on one. I'm on one. Hallelujah. Somebody be a scribe for me. Let me tell you something. This is real. The enemy is using emotions in this hour like never before. That's what he's doing. I see that bad boy. He using emotions. Let me tell you how he using emotions. He getting people getting offended of everything. You get offended of a Facebook post. You get offended of this. You, that's why people getting killed. Of course, most of this is set up. What y'all see? Oh, I'm going in. I, I have no filter this morning. And I ain't scared. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Most of these... Um, slayings, especially of these rappers, are sacrifices. Y'all can say what you want to say. Let me tell you, it is the same as when it was Jesus on this earth. When the in, when uh, the devil took him to that pinnacle and he says, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you the glory of this world. He, he's still doing the same deal. He haven't changed. He's still doing the same deal. And I'm sorry, but you, I'm going to be real. And people taking it. And then when payback come, everybody want to cry. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm being real. I ain't got time to play. And neither do you, brother, my sister. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody walk heavy up in here this morning because I feel the power of God. We ain't got time to play just because of your feelings being hurt. People dying every day because no one wants to say the truth. Because if we say the truth, then we're not politically correct. If we say the truth, they might not like us. If we say, I don't care what y'all do. Y'all ain't got to like me. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. You ain't got to like me. You ain't got to be around me. You can't save me. You can't heal me. You can't deliver me. Only the power of God can do that. Hallelujah. Y'all better understand who it is and what it is. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if your if your toes get stepped on, then honey, they stepped on. Because it's real. Y'all got to stop pit patting. Y'all got to tell the truth because people are dying because we don't want to tell the truth. Because we don't want people to, oh, they doing too much. I'm going to tell you the truth. We stopped doing what we we're supposed to do. That's what really happened. The church got weakened. And I'm going to tell you why we got weakened. We start having all these, you know, more sanctuaries, more beautiful sanctuaries. We, God start giving us a little money. Y'all know it's truth. And we pull back. We pull back from being raw and uncut. We pull back from telling the truth. We pull back because now we're, we're trying to be like the world. And I'm going all the way in this morning. I'm talking about from the preacher to the gospel singer. Yes, we pull back. We start acting like the world. We start wanting to be in the world. We start wanting to act of the world we start wanting to be connected to the world and yet it says in James he says if you are a friend to the world you are an enemy to God but we don't want the word we don't want the Bible to touch us because if we speak the word then oh you judge it if you speak the word oh you saying this the devil is a lie the word of God is always going to be real more real than most of you yeah I said it I said it I'm broad and I cut this morning I, I have no filter and I ain't, I'm not scared because there's nothing you could take from me that wasn't ordained for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because if God be for you, then who can be against you? You see, then th that's why they don't like me. I'm going to tell you the truth. You know why most people don't like me? Because you can't control me. And the reason why you can't control me is because you didn't make me. And I'm not trying to do a Kanye West on here. I'm just being real. I've said this forever. When God is with you, you tell the truth. Yes, let's be real. We all want to be loved. But everybody's not going to love you. They didn't love Jesus. Look what they did to Jesus, to Christ. They killed them. They killed them because he told the truth. And who was it that killed them? Come on, somebody. Let's go ahead and do that test this morning. Who killed the Savior? It was supposed to be Christians. And I hate to tell you, but most of you will be deceived by so-called Christians. Yeah, I say it. I say it. I have no filter this morning. The Holy Spirit is all on me. And Holy Spirit, do your job and let me do mine. Hallelujah. Use me. Use me. Use me. Because that's what's wrong. We're too scared to be used by God. We're quenching the Holy Spirit. I don't want to say this because if I say this, they're not going to like me. If I don't say this, then ah, uh, you know what? I don't care. Get the stepping. Get the stepping. 
because you can't save me. You ain't got no hell to put me in. You ain't got no heaven to put me in. You can't bless me. You can't save. Come on, somebody. How did y'all get me this morning? I'm not playing. It's too much going on. We got to go back to basics. What are the basics? Lord, just thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, thank you for what I have. Everybody in competition. That's another thing. I'm on one this morning. I feel the power of God. I'm rolling with him. Everybody want to be, man, I don't care about no competition. I just want to do my assignment. I just want to do my mandate. God, what is it that you want me to do? But, but, but I'm going to be real with you. People be in competition with you and you're not even in competition with them. And you be like, what is going on? Everybody want to be the greatest apostle. Everybody want to be the greatest this. Everybody, the devil is a lie. Jesus said I came to serve I'm a servant come on somebody hallelujah y'all we better get it together and that's another thing we got to start getting it alone I don't, I've never seen it to where the church I've never seen this period it's not just the church it's everybody not everybody but most of you walk around what you're so mad for you living you got a roof you got some clothes you got some food Oh, y'all mad now? Oh, y'all gonna be mad when they put that martial law. Y'all gonna be mad when they do world, new world order. Y'all gonna be mad for real. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Oh, you gonna be mad then for real. If you mad now, you gonna be mad then. Oh, uh, they ain't ready for me this morning, Lord. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. We better come back to basics, being kind to each other, being respectful to each other, being nice to each other, being loving to each other. Forgive one another as God has forgiven us. We, we don't always get it right. There is no way I can sit on this live and say I got it together. The devil is alive. But every day I'm trying. God, help me. Help me see me. You see, we're always looking at everybody else, critiquing everybody else, judging everybody else, doing all this other stuff. And I used to do it, too. Come on, let's be real. But then I found out, Deanna, you are them. <laughs> Come on, somebody. God do not look at us like, oh, Deanna. God look at us as the children of Israel. None of us are righteous. None of us do good. That's what the Bible says. None of us. He said, we're all like a filthy rag, trying to get it together. Every day, he said, work on your own salvation. Everybody worrying about somebody else. He said, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. To me, that those are explicit words. Fear and trembling? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I know it's hard, but it's right. I know it's tight, but it's right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Let me tell y'all something. Our whole duty is to love one another, serve God with all our heart, and be kind and forgiving and respectful, even to the ones you don't like. He said, do it as to me. Don't do it as to the person. We got to check our hearts, people. We got to check our hearts. It's a heart check this morning. That's what this is. Somebody right there. It's a heart check. It's a heart check this morning. What's in your heart? You know how they say what's in your wallet? What's in your heart? Is hate in your heart? Is this, is envy in your heart? Is malice in your heart? Is greed in your heart? Because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people greedy. I don't trust greedy people. And I'm not talking about for food. I don't trust greed. If you are greedy for money, I don't trust you because you're capable of anything. You'll sell me out. You'll try to set me up. You're, you're, come on, somebody. Y'all y'all better watch them people. And I don't care if they're family, friends, whomever. Y'all y'all better start using wisdom and discernment. That's what I'm talking about. You better use wisdom and discernment like never before. God, give me wisdom. God, give me discernment. God, don't let me get food. God, don't let me get tempted. God, please help me. Every day, that better be your prayer because it's hot out here. Oh, come on, somebody. It's hot out here. What do you mean, prophetess? I mean the devil is seeking whom he may devour in this hour. Somebody be a scribe for me. The devil is seeking in this hour who he may devour. And it's not a game. You playing, but he ain't playing. He's not playing, people of God. He's not playing. I'm telling you, he's not playing. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. He's not playing this morning. He's not playing any any time. He's just not playing. So, you guys, I just wanted to get on here. And I love you. I truly love you. And I guess you say, well, prophetess, what do you mean? If you have, and, and this, is, this is also, when I pray, I ask God to give me a balance. The enemy is using our love against us because if you're a true child of God, you have love in your heart. But don't be weak. Don't be gullible. Don't be too sensitive. Don't be emotional. So I ask God for a balance. Give me a balance. So not so Colossians, um, I think it's I, I don't I don't want to say the scripture because I'm not sure. I think it's three nine. But don't quote me um, where it says that let your speech be seasoned with salt so that you know how to answer each man. It's time for us to be led by the Holy Spirit, not just, you know, out, out of your emotions. I've seen so much stuff in the last, I don't even know what to say, in the last, man, people just, 
I don't know what's going on. It's like people are just, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But it's like people are just doing all kind of stuff these days, you know. And I'm just saying, let's be kind. Let's be mindful. Because what I'm learning more so, even at 54, man, you don't know what people are going through. We're so quick to judge. We're so quick to say, oh, I would do. You don't know because you're not walking their walk. You're not carrying their water. So you don't know. You do not know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go back up in here. Um, all your orders is going out, the second batch of orders. So I told y'all I was going to get better with that. So y'all already know you can go on my website, www.apostledeannadixon.com. A lot of people ask me, why do I still have that website? Because that's the website I started out with in 2014. So I'm not going to change it just because I, I changed my title to Prophetess. I'm not going to do that. So quit asking me. <laughs> I mean, it's a business move. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's another thing. Sometimes we we, we so holy until we're not business-like. We don't do things in a, a spirit of excellence. Oh, they didn't got me going, Lord. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you this morning. Let me pray for everybody as myself as well. Dear Father God, we just come to you, Father God, bolder to the throne of grace. First of all, God, just repenting for anything we may have said or done, knownly or unknownly. Father God, forgive us. Father God, teach us, Father God. Allow wisdom and discernment, Father God, to come and be around our neck, Father God, so that we know how to walk, how to talk, especially if we say that we are a child of God. Father God, I pray, Father God, that we understand how to operate in this hour, that we operate in the spirit of excellence, a spirit of wisdom, Father. Father God, with love, walk in it, Father God. Teach us to walk in it. Teach us to forgive, Father God. Take away that spirit of attention. Take away that spirit of fear. Take away that spirit of intimidation. Take away that spirit of rage. That's what's in this hour, God. Say rage. Just want to kill people. Don't you know that the same sword you use will be used against you, said the Lord. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for protection, Father God. Father God, we thank you for our finances, Father God. We may not have everything we, we want, but Father God, thank you for what we need, God. Oh, Father God, I ask you to touch every man, woman, child, anybody that listens to this. Touch him, Father God. For you say that if any two shall touch and agree, I touch and agree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for their healing, for their deliverance, for their finances, for their mind, Father God. Keep them strong in this hour. I know it get tired. I know it get hard. I know they get worried. I know they want to give up. Hallelujah. But God, I say, but God, the power of God is still real. The presence of God is still real. Hallelujah. One touch, one touch, one touch from God. And it'll change everything. Hallelujah to his name. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I thank you. I say this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, let us say amen, amen, amen. This prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do. For your word will not return into you void, God. Father God, continue, continue to bless your people, even in the midst of trials, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of storms. In the midst of adversity, keep us strong like Joshua chapter 1. Be strong and of good courage, I hear the Lord say. Will the Joshua generation rise up in this hour? Be strong in every area of your life. Hallelujah. Walk in love. Walk in forgiveness. Hallelujah. Walk, God says. Don't you dare fear. Hallelujah. There's nothing to fear. For 2 Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Well, I speak power in your spirit, a sound mind, and love. Hallelujah to his name. We give you honor, God. We give you glory in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. So I'm going to go in here. I've been, I've been up since, I don't know. God been waking me up four, five, I, man. I don't, you know, um, the record label in Spain, he said, he said, do you ever sleep? I don't know, y'all. I get by four, five, maybe, maybe, maybe six on a good day, but. And I'm not even tired, so I know that's the Holy Spirit. I'm not that great. I know that's God. Get up, pray. Get up, pray. Get up, pray. Get up, watch. Get up. Come on, somebody. I'm speaking up in here this morning. Hallelujah. Walking heavy. Hallelujah. In the Spirit of God. This is real. This is not a game. We're not perfect? No. And when you're not perfect and when you mess up, fall down and repent. Say, God, I, 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 I'm sorry, God. I repent. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Let me reach the people. Let me be real. That's what time it is. Everybody want to be this and that and get this and that. The world, let me tell you something. The world is passing. Now, hold on. I'm not saying that God doesn't want us blessed. But it's too much just go get the bag or, or do anything for a dollar. And Oh, man. And I'm going to tell you all right now. There's a shift in my music. Let me go ahead and prepare y'all. 
I'm not saying I'm not a gospel artist anymore, but I am an activist as well. I'm going to start putting out some stuff that I'm just being, re I'm just letting y'all know now. I am who I am. Not God, but I'm God's servant. If I get accolades, praise God. If I get this, praise God. But at the end of the day, I'm a servant of the living God. That's all I want to be. Anything else is a perk and I'm humble. Thank you, Jesus. But nobody going to be ruling me. Ain't nobody going to be like, well, because they already do it to me. And, and, I'm, and I don't know why I'm getting ready to say this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do not let people rule, you, rule over you. There's only one ruler, and that's the Lord thy God. People will try to intimidate you. People will try to keep you out of things. People will try to make you feel ostracized, rejected. Honey, sometimes that rejection is your protection. Somebody write that. Sometimes that rejection is your protection. Y'all ain't got to invite me. Y'all ain't got to like me. I ain't going to lie before you know you you, you want to be involved. Let's look, Come on now. Let's kick it real. You want to be involved. You want to be a part of this. You want. But I'm coming to know if God. This is what I read last night. He said no good Um, Psalm 7. He said I won't hold any good thing from you. So now. When people do whatever, I'll be like, oh, okay, it ain't good for me. Somebody write, it ain't good for me. Ah, God bless you, thank you, whatever. It ain't good for me. You got to turn, you got to reverse the curse. You can't always be down on yourself trying to fit in, hurting yourself trying to fit in, hurting yourself trying to be something that God did not ordain anyway. And if God didn't ordain it, then you know what's going to happen? It's going to be bad. So... All right, you guys. God bless you. And go check out my music on Spotify, you guys, because um, I'm a different type of gospel artist. I, I always been, you know, um, I'm a psalmist, and that means I sing according to the Holy Spirit, what he's telling me. I don't, I'm not trying to be like nobody else. I'm not trying, man, th that's for the birds. Lord, just what you want me to say, Lord? What you want me to sing? What you want me to do? And I'm not for everyone. I get that too. Come on, somebody. Y'all better understand. I'm talking up in here this morning because some of you want to be for everybody. You want everybody to like you. You want to, uh, that's not reality. You're called to whom you're called. Somebody write that down. You're called to whom you're called. You're ordained for what you're ordained. You're mandated for what you mandated, even in marriage. Oh, I don't know why I'm going here, but I'm going I'm to walk it out. Some of y'all trying to be with this and that one. Honey, is that ordained of God? Or are you going to just catch hell? You heard me. I'm on my cut this morning. Or are you going to just catch hell because you in love or lust? Which one is it? Because love don't hurt. Love don't mock. Love don't hit. Love don't, yeah, you get the point y'all better stop that ain't love what, what what i'll be by myself with a goldfish and a puppy and i mean that i already got the fish well it's not mine but i you know you get the drift <laughs> what yeah i'm, I'm on what y'all know what i get on what i've been faster y'all already know i think this is the sixth day of the fast this is the sixth day of the fast you guys of the liquid fast some are fasting to 12 some are fasting to three some are doing full liquid fast and I did it that way because God wants us to win. God don't want us to put so much pressure on people that, oh, I can't fast the whole day. Do what you can. And that's what God expects because everything is a process. I think the church has put so many standards, this, this, this. If you don't do this, then you. That's not God. God meets you where you're at. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. God meets you where you're at. Somebody write that. God meets you where you at. And now, now, hold on. He requires you. Come on up now. Come on up now. Come a little higher. Come a little higher. Pray a little longer. Pray a little longer. Grow. Mature in the things of God. Oh, uh, let me get off out here because I keep going. Y'all know I got preachers are long winded, honey. <laughs> Y'all be on here all day messing with me. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.